What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. And in this video, we are going to talk about a platform that has been an old faithful. It's been one that has been a, a low churner, slow churner, but it's been a grow churner, if you know what I'm saying. And we're going to talk about Tazobit.com, and it's still thriving and kicking. Before we get to what well, we're going to find out if it's still thriving and kicking, all right? It's a day by day thing, but we're going to check it out. Um, before I get started, um, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor and I'm not your financial advisor. This dude on YouTube growing this crypto, showing you guys and taking you guys on the journey, showing you guys some of the platforms I'm using. Nothing more, nothing less. And that being said, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. I'm in the back office of Tasso Bit. We're going to do a daily withdrawal. Now, a lot of you know what the plans are. If you don't, you should go on some of my previous videos about Tazo Bit and check them out or just go to the website. I always leave my links below for anyone that doesn't have access to the chat uh, to the platform um, but we're going to do a pull out so we're going to start with this $27 in Litecoin and usually we get a batch ID so we're going to hope for the best all right oh I'm seeing saved withdrawal request has been successfully saved all right let's see what happens with that Tron Will I be able to take the Tron out? It's been saved, all right? Let me look and see in my Telegram if there's anything that I am missing about Tazobit. It seems to me that the platform chat is still open, which is a great sign. And uh, I'm just going to hope that it comes through like it's supposed to. All right. That's my hope. And um, all the other ones have. Let's go to the transactions. Let's go to the transactions here. Let's go to withdrawal history. All right. Just the 20th, I did a withdrawal and it came perfectly. 17th, I did a withdrawal. It came just fine. The 14th. So I check on them this every other, every other day or so, every couple of days, three days or so. And um, I do a withdrawal request, and usually I get a batch ID, as you can see. So we're going to find out. We're going to come back and make sure that it is paying out. Hopefully, it's nothing um, that's telling us that this platform is going away because it has been a churner for us for a pretty good a, a good while, all right? I've been churning about 80 bucks a day in Tron in here, you know, for the last long while, all right? I can see this is what I've withdrawn. I've let's see, that's that's getting a little bit over maybe sixteen hundred if I'm doing rough math. Maybe maybe not as much as sixteen hundred, but um, if you look at my account, I have actively deposited uh, eleven hundred ninety nine dollars into this platform. So, hey. I like the way it's going. I like the way it's flowing right now. It's still churning out that crypto, and I love it. And I just found out a way to transfer my Tron into other coins, and I use Exodus Wallet, so that's just a slight plug. The Tazo bit, as far as I know, is still thriving, not bull jiving. We did get a safe pending uh, transaction today, but we will see how that unfolds because sometimes it just comes through just a tad bit late, and I am okay with that all right that being said guys make sure you put your 2fa on all your wallets and all the platforms that will allow you because crypto is the wild wild west and if you ain't strapped you're bound to get hacked guys ask me how i know it is not very fun i will see y'all in the next daily pull out tazzle bit peace out